government remains cognizant that agro-processing facilities play a key role in the administration's efforts to increase food security and promote sustainable economic growth. Against this backdrop, $25 million is being invested to construct, complete, retrofit, and equip an agro-processing plant in the Amerindian village of Oriola, located in Region 6, to enable the village to become a significant producer of cassava-based and other processed products. Senior Minister in the Office of the President with Responsibility for Finance, Dr. Ashni Singh, informed villagers that the facility is expected to be operational before the end of the year. Dr. Singh reminded that the President's vision for food security is to ensure that every village across Guyana specializes in a product that they have a comparative advantage in, and in Oriola's case, it is cassava-based products. Cultivation of cassava is already underway in the village. The village can also resuscitate the processing of mango and pineapple cheese, a venture that the community undertook a long time ago. So once that facility is commissioned, we would like to see this village to be a major producer of cassava-based products, selling those products not only in Oriana, not only in Siparuta, not only in Molson Creek and Crabwood Creek, not only in Region 6, but nationally. I want to see Oriala Kazri, and I want to see Oriala cassava flour being sold in Georgetown. A similar facility is also being constructed in Crabwood Creek. The projects are critical elements of the government's push for enhanced food security, and by adding value to primary agriculture produce, agro-processing improves household incomes and opens up new opportunities. It is not just a building. It is not just a building or a building with a few rooms and some equipment. It is a facility through which economic independence can be achieved, incomes can be generated, and families and individuals' lives can be improved. Meanwhile, Oriella has benefited from substantial investments over the years, including carbon credit funds of which $24 million was dispersed to the village. Projects have already commenced in the village, funded from the carbon credit. 